Hey, what's up family? David here. Welcome or welcome back to Cross Fitness, helping men and women get in the best spiritual shape of their lives one workout at a time. So quick thought about God and I'm calling him four ways God answers prayer. And you know this by experience. You've seen this in your life. Let me just run through them quick and I'll explain it and give you an example from the Word of God. So the four ways I think in my life observance and reading the Word over the years that God answers prayer is number one, yes. Number two, no. Number three, later. And number four, I will if you will. Okay? Yes, no, later, and I will if you will. And let me give you an example from the life of a familiar character in the Old Testament, Moses. Okay? So, number one, yes. Moses says to God, show me your glory. Does he do it? Oh, yes, he does. Puts him in the cleft of the rock, passes by, declares his name, and Moses comes off the mountain after that encounter and his face shines for 40 days, right? With a resplendent reflection of the glory of God, he has to wear a veil, right? Okay. So yeah, God answers yes in Moses' life. He does in your life, has in my life as well, when the prayers that we pray. Number two, no. Back to Moses. Um, at the burning bush, when God calls him to go be the deliverer, deliverer uh, Moses basically says, no, no, I don't, no, no, here am I. Uh, send Aaron. I don't want to go. I'm, I don't t -t 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 talk very well. So, uh, but God denies that uh, request. He declines his prayer and says, no, no, you're the one. You're going. And so he does. So there we have an emphatic no to Moses' prayer. Number three, later. Okay. So um, Miriam uh, uh, is criticizing her brother Moses for marrying a Cushite woman. That's an interesting story, another video all of itself. But he does, and, and, and Miriam just feels the freedom to criticize him. Well, God judges her by putting leprosy on her. What? Yeah, that happens. And uh, Moses goes before the Lord and said, Oh, God, please don't let my sister die a leper. And, and God basically says later, he said, Look, if her, her father had, had but spit in her face, she'd be defiled for seven days. And so for seven days, she's going to have to remain outside the camp with leprosy. And then I'll answer your prayer. I will heal her and she can come back into the camp. This was definitely a later response from God to Moses' appeal to heal his sister, right? Okay, very clear in scripture. And then finally, number four is I will if you will. I mean, we see this all throughout the scripture. Um, and in Moses' case, you know, if you are willing and obedient, you'll eat the best of the land. Okay. Well, Moses wasn't obedient. There was a time when he was disobedient at the waters of Meribah, where God told him, go, go speak to the rock, and water will come out to hydrate the people of Israel and their flocks. And Moses is angry with the people and strikes the, the rock with a staff twice. <laughs> and God says, because of this, you and Aaron, who was complicit, will not be able to go into the promised land. Aaron died first, then Moses. Okay, and so, you know, I will if you will. Deuteronomy 28, if you fully obey the Lord your God and are careful to follow all the commands I give you, then I'll give you the best of the, uh, you know, uh, you'll be the head and not the tail above and above. You'll be blessed when you come in and go out and all that kind of stuff. You know, in, in, in the New Testament, this carries over. First John 1, 9, if you confess your sins, then he's faithful and just to forgive you of your sins and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. I'm just telling you, God, it's an if-then uh, arrangement with God. I will if you will, okay? So how does God answer prayer? Four different ways. Yes, no, later, and I will if you will. That We see it in the life of Moses. You've seen it in your own life. I've seen it in my life. You can take that to the bank, all right? Well, I hope that encourages you a little bit. Take that into your day and think about it. For now, I'm David, your virtual mentor, reminding you that I'm always for you. I am never against you. God bless. Take care.